Hello, Captains, and welcome to this X-Plane 10 video. Today I'm fulfilling a request for one of my loyal subscribers uh, to do a flight from, or actually a flight to Russia. So I've decided to do this flight uh, from Chopin, Poland to Sheremetyevo in Moscow, Russia. Today we're going to be flying Airflot, flight 2001 and uh, our approximate flight time is 2 hours and 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look here at our uh, flight. There we go. Um, so we are Airflot 2001. Uh, origin is uh, Echo Papa Whiskey Alpha. Destination is Uniform Uniform Echo Echo. Uh, the uh, distance of our route today is 667 nautical miles. We're going to be cruising at an altitude of 350 for our flight today. Our departure is going to be runway 11 uh, today through the bands for Alpha departure. And we're going to be arriving into Moscow today, runway 6 left, uh, through the um 13 Gulf star. Hopefully our ride is uh, going to be clear of uh, any thunderstorms today. Uh, we expect uh, very calm weather today. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our fuel and payload today. Uh, so basically... Uh, we're looking at a uh, approximately 2 hour and 30 minutes and our release fuel is going to be 7,461 kilograms. Okay, so let's switch back here to map. That's uh, where we are right here. And this is uh, our uh, departing runway today. So let's go ahead uh, without further ado and uh, jump into the flight deck and prepare the aircraft for departure. So, uh, let's go ahead and include uh, 7,000, uh, it's uh, 500, so I'll say 8,000, just to make sure uh, that we you know, have enough for any uh, unforeseen circumstances. Alright, let's jump into the flight deck. Welcome to the flight deck, Captains. Uh, we're still getting uh, refueled here, uh, and sh we should be uh, ready to uh, prepare the cockpit. Uh, uh, we are ready now to prepare for the cockpit. Uh, for engine start. Uh, a quick note, uh, I am using the uh, recently released uh, Blue Star CFM engine sounds uh, for this uh, jar design uh, A320 uh, and let me tell you I'm very impressed with these sounds. They sound very very nice, uh, very realistic engine sounds and they've got some really nice uh, um, ambient sounds as well including ATC. Uh, so you can program a joystick button to basically play uh, background ADC chatter, kind of similar like the Aerosoft uh, um, Airbus. So we'll get that uh, in a minute once we prepare the uh, the cockpit for engine start. So, oops, let me disable X camera. Okay, so batteries on. Fuel pumps on. So just the temperature knobs here. All right, and let's start the APU. By the way, if you're uh, wondering uh, about the scenery uh, of Chopin uh, uh, in Poland, this is a Payware uh, scenery. It's available on the Explain Org store. Uh, very nice scenery, highly recommend it. It's a bit heavy on the frames, so I must admit. Alright, so uh, the APU is available now. Very well. Alright, this goes to STS-1. Enter position, that's fine. Everything here is fine. And everything here is also fine. Let's go ahead and turn the beacon on. And let's turn passenger signs on. Alright, so everything else is fine here. Let's go ahead and turn the... Now I've programmed a joystick key for the uh, ATC chatter. 
There we go. Alright. We are ready now to program the MCDU. So here's our zero fuel block. And let's go for the initial reference. Today we're flying the Echo Papa Whiskey Alpha to Uniform Uniform Echo Echo. Okay, the route is there. Our flight number today is um, AFL2001. AFL. Oops. That's AFL. L Flight number, cost index today is 35. Cruise level is 35,000 feet. And now we can align the IRS. Alright. Updates. Our altimeter for Chopin Airport is 1009. And that is now set. Okay, let's go for our flight plan here. So we're departing runway 11 through the BAMS 4 Alpha departure. Let's insert that into our plan. And then we're arriving into Moscow today, runway 6 left. So ILS 6 left, that's the first one here, and that's through the U-13 Gulf. U-13 uh, Gulf. Just double check that. Yep, that's the correct one here. And we'll insert that. And that is now in there. Let's check for any discontinuities. That's top of climb. Top of descent. And everything looks perfect. Very well. Alright, let's head back here. All right, and let's go for performance page now. So we're going to do flaps two today, and flux temperature. I'll put in my favorite number, which is 50, and V1, we rotate, and V2. Transition altitude, I'll leave this at 5,000. Um, I know at Shermitievo it's uh, 3,980. Uh, yeah, it's an odd number, but uh, I'll leave it here at uh, 5,000. Uh, let's change this here. Let's change that. And uh, I will check the transition altitude in a minute. Alright, so everything here looks fine. And that's our flight plan. Okay. So let me go ahead and check the uh, transition altitude. Let me change this to 35,000. Alright, so that is done. So everything here is fine. And we are pretty much ready, so let me go ahead and... Oops. Let me drive away all. And let me close all the doors. And that way, uh, we are ready to call the pushback truck. Okay, uh, just give me a few seconds. Let me check the transition altitude here in Chopin, and I'll come back to you. Okay, folks, so uh, I checked the transition altitude here at Chopin, and it is 6,500. So let me change this here to 6500 that's our transition altitude and we are now pretty much ready to uh, push back and start our engines so let's go ahead and dismiss all ground services turn the AP lead on and now we can tell those guys hasta la vista right let me turn on the lights here so we can see all right that's good all right, so let's do the same here. That's good. All right. 
All right, let's call the pushback truck and get out of here. Okay, folks, so uh, the uh, pushback is complete. Let's go ahead and start our engines. Starting engine two. All right, engine two starting first. Very nice uh, sound there. Uh, with the engines uh, sounds really nice. All right, let's start engine number one. Starting engine one. Alright, engine one is uh, starting here, and uh, I've skipped uh, some of the checklist uh, just kind of for uh, you know, for uh, in the interest of time. So let me go ahead and uh, right that goes there. Flaps one, flaps two, flaps two. Spoilers half. Spoilers retracted. Spoilers armed. Great. Spoilers are armed. And this goes to taxi. All right. After start checklist. Anti-ice. As required. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Zero. Decimal. One. Up. Rudder trim. Zero. APU. Set on. Ground crew. Clear. Anti-skid and nose wheel steering. On. Checklist completed. All right. After start checklist. Flight control check. Full up. Check. Full down. Check. Neutral. Check. Full left. Check. Full right. Check. Neutral. Check. Press pedals disconnect push button. Check. Pedal full left. Check. Pedal full right. Check. Neutral. Check. Press pedals disconnect push button. Check. Checklist completed. Okay, so everything is ready. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Park brake off. Alright, let's give it a little bit of power. Okay, the passenger safety announcement has begun now, and everything is fine. So we'll go ahead and taxi to runway 11 for departure. All right, Captain, so we are approaching uh, runway 11 now for departure. Uh, let's go ahead and make our final stop here and do the before takeoff checklist. All right, park brake on. Set the parking brake. Uh, pass should be off. And strokes can go on. Approach lights. Tax light can go off. And what else we need to do here? Flaps 2. Number is fine. Let's go ahead and pull for the... Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap settings config. Flaps 2. V1. 1. 3. 9. V rotate. 1. 4. 4. V2. 1. 5. 6. Flex temperature. 5. 0. ATC. Set. Ecam memo. No blue. Checklist down to the line completed. If you're ready to continue below the line, click it again. Cabin crew advised. Engine mode selector. Set normal as where required. Packs set off. Course of APU bleed. Checklist below the line completed. All right, we are ready for departure. Park brake off. Let's go ahead and uh, get lined up with the uh, with the central line of the runway here.
100 knots. V1, rotate. Rotates. Gear up. Speed check, flaps one. Speed is not okay for next flaps position. Let's go ahead and engage the autopilot auto one cross check. Okay, folks, so we've uh, reached now our transition altitude. So Standard Vero cross check. Passing flight level zero six nine. All right, packs are on. And let's call for the after takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Landing gear up, flaps retracted, packs on. Checklist down to the line completed. If you are ready to continue below the line, click it again. Barrow reference, standard Barrow set. Checklist below the line completed. Okay, folks. So uh, we basically uh, we are now uh, uh, we are climbing to flight level three five zero. Everything is okay. On pilot engaged. Spoilers disarm. We disarm the spoilers. And we are at 9,000 feet. Uh, everything uh, looks okay. Uh, it's nice. And we scatter clouds in the area, but nothing too serious at the moment. Welcome back, Captains. Uh, we are now at our final, final cruising altitude of 350. The aircraft systems are operational for design intent. And as you can see, this is the top of the climb, so we've actually reached 35,000 at the uh, right point uh, into our flight. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, flight so far. So this is where we are right now. Uh, right here, this is the Blotka, we just passed Blotka, and we reached our top of the descent, and this is basically right here, is our approach into, uh, into uh, Uniform Uniform Echo Echo. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a strange, uh, strange star, look at this, we come in, and this is the airport, this is the runway right here, and then we're going to make a turn, all the way here, and then we're going to come back here and land at runway uh, zero six left. Uh, it's a bit of a strange, uh, strange approach, uh, but uh, everything is fine. Uh, we should uh, be there in approximately two hours from now. Uh, so uh, relax, uh, sit back, and enjoy the flight, and I will see you uh, at about 20 nautical miles uh, before our top descent. Enjoy the flight. Welcome back, Captains. Uh, we are at flight level 3.0, and we are approximately 20 nautical miles from our top of descent. Uh, so this is a good point to start uh, preparing the aircraft for uh, the initial descent into Um Let's go ahead and update. There's no data found. That's fine. Let's go ahead and come here to the MCDU and go to performance and we'll go to the approach. The QNH is 
Let's see here. Uniform, uniform. Echo, echo. Where's that? Uh, it's one zero one one. Okay, so one zero one one. That's the QNH. The temperature is about ten degrees Celsius at the moment, and the wind. Uh, I didn't check the wind. Uh, I think it was. Let me check that again. Like that. Let's see here. 303, okay. So 300 degrees. Zero three knots. Let's put that there. Transition altitude is 4980. So let's put that to 3000. I believe it was 3000, yeah. It's uh, 3980, that's the transition altitude at Chernobyl. Uh, the app is 1.2, and that is fine. Alright, and let's go ahead and reset our altitude to 10,000 feet. And we are almost there at our top of descent. Everything is fine at the moment. Uh, there are no. Uh, there is very strong uh, wind at the moment, uh, but other than that, we are fine. And we're getting, getting closer here to top of descent. Let's uh, decrease the range here to uh, 20. It's okay. It's around here. It's fine there. Yeah, it's fine. Good stuff. We are close to top of descent, sir. Okay, so this is uh, okay. I think this is uh, close enough. So let's go ahead and initiate the descent. Right, the uh, descent has been initiated now, and the plane is now descending to 10,000 feet. Everything is fine. I will see you guys back at uh, 10,000 feet, uh, at which, uh, at, at that point, I think it will be very close to, uh, uh, to the airport. Here's the task. Now, so I'll see you guys at 10,000 feet. Uh, until then, enjoy the ride. Okay, folks, so we are approaching uh, Sherimetievo uh, right now. Uh, I hope that's how it's pronounced. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, we are approaching uh, approximately 5,000 feet right now, uh, which is uh, one of the restrictions. Uh, we are pretty close. That's the airport ahead of us. Uh, but we have to kind of come and do this really funny thing here, uh, which I don't really understand. Uh, but nevertheless, that's something we need to do. So, everything is fine at the moment. Uh, and uh, we continue our descent. Uh, yeah. So, as soon as we are here, we're going to start making a turn. And I guess we will also reduce uh, speed. Okay, so we are... Yeah, we are heading at uh, the 5,000 here, so that's fine.
done. Let's arm the uh, speed freight. Spoilers half. Spoilers retracted. Spoilers arm. Okay. Spoilers are armed now. And let's pull for the uh, approach checklist. Approach checklist. Briefing confirmed. Ecam status check. Seat belts on. Barrow set. Two nine nine two. Decision height two zero zero. Engine mode selector set normal as wearer required. Auto brake set. Checklist completed. Okay, let's check. Uh, zero one one. Right, that's one zero one one. So we are now configured for landing. Right at this point, let's go ahead and reduce speed. 205 knots. Okay, and let's introduce flaps one. Speed check, flaps one. Speed check. Flaps two. Okay. Flaps two. All right, folks. Let's go ahead and reduce speed to one six zero. And speed check. Flaps three. Flaps three. All right, uh, we are now. Uh, the localizer is active, and uh, we are we've intercepted the localizer. So we'll wait for the glide slope to activate, and then basically cap one. So. Okay. Right. Autopilot two. Cross check. Okay. Gear down. Gear down. Speed check. Flaps full. Okay, folks, so uh, we are ready for our approach into Shirimetievo. And everything is fine at the moment. We're coming in nicely. And as you can see, CAN 3, dual, is now active, which means that uh, we are configured for auto land. Checked. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. 
50, 40, 30, minimum. Retard, retard, retard. Retard, retard. Okay, captains, uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I hope that it's been a useful video. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now. Ladies and gentlemen,